So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at a very cool product you probably haven't seen before, but from a company I have mentioned in the past. And this is the Smart Jacket from Eunice Product Service. It's a Japanese company. And what this company does, at least from what I've seen, is sell upgrades to popular pens so and pencils. So this is, it's a little bit hard to make out what that is, but this is a jacket for the Uni Kuratoga pencil. So basically it's one, two, three, four components that go around your stock Kuratoga. And it doesn't matter what model, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, as long as it's the standard or pipe slide Kuratoga. And it fully will encase the pencil in a metal sheathing. It's called the Smart Jacket. It sells for about $18 shipped from Japan. So an $18 upgrade on a $6 pen, pencil rather, may not be completely advisable, but if this is your mechanical pencil of choice, this could be a nice way to take that kind of plasticky pencil and upgrade it into being something that is not only bomb-proof, but quite interesting and unique. And again, this is what it looks like fully encased. We can see metal cap, metal body, metal grip. This plastic piece is the uh, Kuratoga, the stock piece. So it still works as normal, just like you'd expect. You could still open this up and access your eraser. So that's all standard. But if you look at it or feel it, it's uh, clearly not a standard Kuratoga. Interestingly, the clip is the normal Kuratoga clip. So this one, it kind of peeks out from inside the jacket, which is, uh, I guess, makes sense, right? Because the clip is built into the pencil, but it's also a little disappointing that you can't get the Kuratoga and upgrade it to a metal clip, but it's understandable and you see how this thing actually works. And they actually did make a little groove to it. So the clip is more effective than it would be other way, otherwise, but also more prone to breaking because to use it, you have to flex it more than you otherwise would. So let's open this up now and see how it works. So it's a little squeaky, which it is aluminum on aluminum. And we'll just take it component by component. It's not really meant to be taken, you know, put on and off all the time. And I guess I could have just done that from the start, but here you go. That goes like that. This piece unscrews. So here we have a standard or pipe slide Kuratoga. They're basically the same externally with the cap removed. And here we have the components of the smart jacket. Grip, body, top area. This is what goes around the clip. You can see that little cutout there for the clip. Very thin aluminum there. So you wanna be a little careful with that component. And then we have actually an aluminum, aluminum button for the top. So a button cover, I guess, technically. And this is uh, definitely they went the extra mile here because the existing piece here would have fit in. Uh, that's just not a metal component. So actually one of the pieces you touch with your hands would have been plastic, which I guess is specifically what the smart jacket wanted to avoid. To do the installation is very simple. You have to do the pieces in order though. So you get this piece, slide it on. You see the fit is, is really quite nice. It's like very precise, like really nice precision on this, I guess is what my point is. Then this piece goes on and this can slide and it will screw down. You can see the channel here lines up and it'll lock on from pressure from both sides, right? So it can't move. Now there's a little bit of wiggle, but that'll go away. Uh, this piece will stay on. There's a little bit of friction here from this plastic or this rubber grommet or whatever, but that'll actually prevent wiggling downstream. We screw this on. Again, that little squeakiness from aluminum on aluminum. Nice tight fit. And 
uh, you'll know that it works well because when you bounce it around, no noise at all. Even the lead on the inside is muted. And then finally you get this piece, push it on and it's easier to push now. And you could hide with that pipe slide model, you could hide that component. Again, no shaking, no rattling, completely silent. Uh, it bumps up the weight of your Kuratoga a fair bit. Uh, I forget exactly how much, but I think you're in the uh, like the you know 20 ish gram range now. So not too heavy, but not too light either. Looking at it against some other larger items, so now it makes the Kuratoga seem a fair bit more weighty. Like here's it next to a Lamy Safari. Doesn't really make the pencil any longer, but it has a lot more thickness to it. Uh, here's it next to like a higher end fountain pen. This is a Platinum 3776. Uh, not really a comparable object, but you can see the thickness has been expanded and now you're in the same size category as a lot larger and more expensive pen or pencil. The grip is this really nice, really cleanly done knurling. It's not sharp, it's a very soft knurling, which is nice, it doesn't feel like it's tearing up your hands, but you do get some grip. Uh, if you have to use a pencil outdoors or with gloves, this is a really nice option, which not only does it protect the pencil, but the extra couple millimeters of width gives you much better grip, especially with gloves on. The knurling obviously will help as well. It's better for holding than the plastic and this larger, more extended button is easier to push than it would be in the past. So it's a big upgrade for the usability of your pencil if you're using it under uh, you know, non-office conditions. Uh, aesthetically, it looks a little bit chunky. Uh, that's, I guess, ha you know, came with the territory when you're adding a full layer of aluminum around the pencil. There's no nothing to do but make it more chunky. Uh, I feel like there could have been some more elegance here, uh, kind of with those really geometric cutouts. But I feel like the company was probably going for that big, like, uh, sharp angle look kind of big and robotic, not making it, you know, too curvy or too fluid looking or anything like that. It's kind of supposed to look big and robotic. So maybe that's to your liking, maybe it's not. As far as liking the pencil better now, uh, I'm actually kind of up in the air on that. Uh, the extra weight is nice. I think it is a little bit thick actually. You know, I have a, a band in which I prefer my pen and pencil width, and this is just a little bit outside of that band. It's not terrible, but it's a little bit wider than I would tend to like. And I don't know, this, this whole area here looks a little bit weird. It looks like this all expanded. It looks like it got stung by a bee or something, but the clip is still that tiny little clip. It just, it looks off to me, but that's a minor point. Really what you're getting here is a really nice grip and then some protection for your pencil. With with this slide piece hidden, your uh, pencil's in, in really a protected form right now. Not that you're ever like crushing or snapping these pencils in half, but uh, I think we've all broken high-end pencils, something like a nice pencil. You just get this tip and it snaps off and all of a sudden you're either scrambling for an old tip or you're out a pretty expensive pencil. That is not gonna happen with this. This one you could get run over by a car Maybe the plastic would break, but everything else would be fine. The plastic clip, that is. So that is the smart jacket from Eunice Product Service. I think it's very cool. Uh, I would not recommend buying one unless if you're a really dedicated Kuratoga or Delgard or whatever company you get uh, fan. And you're just, you know you're going to be using these pencils forever and you want to invest in it. Uh, 18 bucks is a little bit steep for this, although... Given the quality of the work, uh, I think that eighteen dollars is fine for that. I just don't know that it makes the pencil three or four times better. So from that perspective, I don't fully get the investment. But it is fun, and if you want to have a cool, quirky Kuratoga mechanical pencil, it does get the job done. 
As far as writing, I'm not gonna get into that because it writes the same. You click it, the lead comes out, you put it in, that goes back in. The click works just as well, maybe a little bit better. The throw is the same, right? It's just like something is covering the button, but it doesn't interrupt the activity at all. The clip, again, it's a little bit tighter, but there's less room to bump out and it's more prone to breaking. And then this front end is exactly stock, so no effect there. Anyway, that is the power jacket or smart jacket. And this is the, if you wanna get this for your Kuratoga, you're looking for KT-01. Thanks for watching.